minutes to stay in the books. Asif Apal, his only major title, the Commonwealth title in 2006, and frankly that doesn't register alongside the Worlds and the Olympics. Tyson Gay, of course, the double gold medalist from two years ago, still the champion. Will he be in a few minutes' time, or will this young man take over and add gold from here tonight, these World Championships in Berlin, to that gold from Beijing? If you read the uh, list of winners of the world title, remember these world championships only took place for the first time in 1983. Carl Lewis won the first three editions in 83, 87 and 91. It used to take place only over four years. Linford Christie in 1993 in Stuttgart took gold. Donovan Bailey in 1995 in Gothenburg scored gold medal performance. And then uh, it was the era of Maurice Green. What a champion he was. Athens in 97. Seville in 99, Edmonton in 2001, and that was with an injury from Green in the final one in Edmonton. Then it was Kim Collins in 2003. He shocked everybody, although his winning time, 10.07, was the slowest yet for a world title. Justin Gatlin, the disgraced Justin Gatlin winning in 2005 uh, with 9.88. That in the reign of Helsinki. And two years ago, Tyson Gay, 9.85. The uh, defence of Gay's title is probably going to be a tougher defence than anyone has ever faced before. Well, never before a global final have I seen two of the contestants, competents, shadow boxing. And that's exactly what Asif Appel and Usain Bolt were doing a matter of seconds ago. Shadow boxing around the blocks. <laughs> it was like watching Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier, and I suppose... The natural way to take that on, Tim, is this is a truly heavyweight contest, isn't it? Those bolt arms, those foam arms have been dished out around this city. Bolt arms? Sounds like a pub, doesn't it, in the home counties? The line-up, though? There it is. Dwayne Chambers of Great Britain, the only man to get through to this stage. The European Indoor Champion in March this year. Second in the UK Championships to Simeon Williamson, who couldn't even make it through to the semi-finals. Hasn't been a good game, so a good championships for Williamson. Mark Burns of Trinidad goes in lane two. Daniel Bailey of Antigua in lane three. Usain Bolt of Jamaica in four. Gay, the champion, there he is, in lane five. 9-9-3 nine, nine, in his semi-final. Powell goes in six for Jamaica. Patton for the USA seven. And Trinidad's Richard Thompson in lane eight. There are five athletes from the Caribbean in this final. Dwayne Chambers is not one of them, of course. The Briton, now 31, took a medal in the World Championships in 1999. Here he is again, trying to get another one, ten years later. Mark Burns, fourth in his semi-final in 10-0-1. But for Burns, well, it's yet another World Final. It was a season's best that brought him to this stage. He was fifth in Helsinki four years ago, seventh two years ago in Osaka. Daniel Bailey, training partner of uh, Usain Bolt, and he finds himself in the, in the adjacent lane to the Olympic champion, coached by Glenn Mills. Obviously, a lot of that Bolt shyness has rubbed off, but really enjoying himself here, and that's lovely to see none of the strutting and attitudes of some of the champions of the past. These lads look like a couple of youngsters just enjoying a day out. Usain Bolt goes in lane four. 989 in his semi-final and he was toying with it. That championship record, remember, 980. I think that will be broken. His world record 9.69. I've got a feeling that might be quivering as well. He's still only 22. He had a car crash in April. He missed a lot of training earlier on in the year. He's focused on his start since and it is much improved. Remember, he sets full started in his semi-final a couple of hours ago. But uh, conditions glorious here tonight. He's had four races in awful conditions this summer, Usain Bolt. We haven't seen his best yet. Tyson Gay, well, he started his season with a 19.58200 in New York. That was a personal best. He equaled the national record for the USA in Rome with 9.77. But he has been struggling with a groin injury, which he says is not really hampering him. He just has to run in pain. We shall find out whether or not... He's got the quality here tonight to not only withstand that pain, but the challenge of the top Jamaican. Here's the number two Jamaican. I don't think... <laughs> what are they on, these guys? Asafa Pal in lane six. 
just in case you were wondering. 995 in his semi-final. He too has had his injury problems in uh, this season. The bronze medalist from two years ago, the Commonwealth champion, he seems to have failed again and again to fulfill what so many have expected. Fifth in the last two Olympic 100 finals, pal. Davis Patton, one of the uh, two Americans in this final. He goes in lane seven. 998 for third place in his semi final. He was a 200 meter silver medalist uh, all of six years ago in 2003. 31 years old now is uh, Davis Patton. Along with Jane, Dwayne Chambers, the only man the wrong side of 30. But let's not forget that uh, Linford Christie lifted the Olympic title in Barcelona 92 in his mid 30s. Richard Thompson completes the lineup, the fifth Caribbean athlete in this final. The Trinidadian goes in lane eight, 998 in his semi final. I tell you what, we're going to see athletes in a few minutes' time smash through the 10 second barrier and finish way down the field. This is one of the most loaded 100 meter fields in a long, long time. And such brash, precocious talent out there, too. Bolt, 22. He's actually 23 this coming Sunday. Can he give himself a birthday present a week before he should receive it? Chances are he can and he will. Daniel Bailey, 22 years old. They are the youngsters of the field, but can uh, Bolt in four perhaps drag his training partner Bailey to a medal? Will he be within sight of uh, Bolt? Oh, the cameraman getting a bit of a kick for his troubles there. First time I've seen that. Chambers in one, Burns in two, Bailey in three, Bolt, the Olympic champion and world record holder in four, Gay, the defending champion in five, Powell, the fast man who usually fails to deliver in six, Patton in seven, Thompson in lane eight. Away first time, good start from from uh, Bolt. Bolt leading a moment and going away. Gay trying to go with him and he's going, being dragged through to second place, but he's going to win it by two metres. 9.58, the world record's gone. That's more like it. Sub 9.6, and surely there's more to come from Bolt yet. But no more records will come from this young man, maybe at these championships. The 200 metres a few days away, and the track, well, we thought yesterday after the first round times, it was a slow track. If it is, then Bolt has uh, turned it back. The world record renewed it in spite of that fact. 9.58, and what on earth has uh, Tyson Gay run? He'll have run a personal best, I'm sure, a new US record. But the uh, tradition is maintained. The Olympic champion has become world champion. Part one of the job done for Usain Bolt. The 200 yet to come, the relay yet to come. Martin, it was the perfect race, and there was tonight quite the showboating that we saw in Beijing he's improved the world record by over one tenth of a second it's a huge jump well I reckon he could break ten seconds running through a bath of custard this fella they say this track isn't the best well what will he run on a fast track 958 gay 9.71 his fastest ever legal time it is an American record we still saw a fair amount of showboating, didn't we? Just before they went into their blocks, Bolt, using his hand, was indicating, I'm going to be like a jet plane, I'm going to take off. He was like Concorde. 9.58. And get him on a truly fast track. And look at this. Well, it's not Morris dancing, but... Uh, it's all rather impressive. Usain Bolt has taken another massive chunk off the world record. What can this man do? There was a time when we used to get very excited about people breaking 10 seconds. Well, we've got the time for the first five here. Fifth place, Darvis Patton, 9.93. We've seen somebody now break 10 seconds by about four meters. Of course, we should mention that uh, behind Bolton Gay, Asifa Powell made it another medal for Jamaica. He was third, a season's best 9.84. Dwayne Chambers, 10 seconds dead, a season's best for him. His foot, the fastest time by a Britain for some time, that. Goodness me, a few years. 
And that's the shot, of course, that will be spread across newspapers all over the world. It wasn't just a world record, and uh, I say that, of course, with enormous inverted commas. But 9.69 in uh, Beijing last year, we knew he was toying around then. We knew he was toying around tonight in his semi-final, running 9.89. The championship record's been shattered. The world record's been blasted into history. And you wonder just what more this man can do. What would have run here tonight if this was a quicker track? We do hear talk about it being a slightly softer track. It's not a Mondo track. Those we understand are the quicker tracks, as was the case in Beijing. Maybe there's another tenth of a second or so to come off that. He has on, he is on record, Martin, is saying he believes he can go into the 9-4s. I suppose anything's possible, isn't it? Tyson Gay, well, he, he can't... Uh... But he can look at himself in the mirror tonight and say, well, I came here after last year when I didn't even make the Olympic final after struggling with injury. I've come here and I've run on not the fastest track in the world, 9.71. Simply, there comes a point when uh, you simply can't control certain things. You can only control how fast you run yourself. And uh, Gay has delivered in a massive way. And... How often? Well, 9.71. It's never, uh, it's never not won a global title or an Olympic title. Has well, it? I was going to say, actually, barring the Olympic Games last year, that 9.71 would have won any race in history. It makes him the second fastest man in history by some margin. I, I'd be interested to know, actually, what is the fastest losing time in any sprint race ever? Well, I reckon it's, it. it's, it's more than a tenth of a second outside that, isn't it? Oh yeah. Powell actually has run 9.72, come to think of it, so he's the third fastest man in history, not the, not the second fastest. Everybody expected Bolt to win, everybody expected Gay to be second, that's what we've just seen. But for Gay to produce that performance, you're dead right, he, needs, he deserves enormous plaudits. Here's that race again, Bolt was away and gone by 60 metres, massive stride, big man, Gay battling all the way to the line, eases up a little bit actually, doesn't even bother to dip, metre and a half behind him back to Powell, but goodness me, pound for pound, let's be fair, pound for pound, Gay is the better athlete, but I'm afraid it's not measured like that. And Asava Powell has run his best race ever in a global championship final, in any sort of final, frankly. He was expected to win two years ago, and he blew it, really, finishing third in a sucker. He's got a bronze medal here, but this is a very honourable bronze for Asava Powell, whose mental approach to this final was clearly very different. He allowed himself <laughs> to play the games with uh, Usain Bolt at the start, bit of shadow boxing and then sticking the old uh, hip number on the end of his nose. You don't see that from Asava Fowler, I haven't until now. Perhaps that's the approach to, uh, to adopt, because he has had uh, what frankly can be referred to as bottle problems in the past, hasn't he? <laughs> I can remember when 10.5 was an international class time. Now we have a 9.5. It's uh, almost intergalactic, it really is. It's a superb running from Usain Bolt. That mark, I have little doubt, will be improved by the Jamaican. Maybe in the next uh, three or four weeks, very often after the major championships, the athletes come out in one-off races. Don't let's forget this is his fourth race in two days. He's got to be running on tired legs, no matter how much...